Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at how the next 48 hours is going to play out. So February 23rd until the 24th. And let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you are hitting the notification bell as well as the subscribe button. And if you would like a personal, check out the description box for my personal uh, website link. Sagittarius. How is the next 48 hours going to play out for them? Sagittarius. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. So the overall energy, we do have the Seven of Cups. Your current energy is the Death card. The challenge that may come up is the strength card. The advice from spirit is the eight of cups. Things that you need to watch out for during this time for me have the three of cups and then the outcome. We have the ten of swords. Sagittarius. Okay, and the card that we have, Nostalgia, it says focus on here and now. So let's go ahead and get deeper into these messages here. So the first card, representing the overall energy being that Seven of Cups, this is the energy of you. Now, for some of you, this is confusion. Um, this confusion can be really sourced from like your personal emotions where the confusion may be lying. Um, this confusion could be in regards to whether or not it's like, okay. So the confusion can be different for each and every one of you. For some of you, I'm seeing this confusion is in the terms of like direction in terms of career, like which direction is best suited for you or what's the best plan of action. This could also be your emotions confusing you in terms of your career. Like you could have been someone who was very sure about what you wanted to do as a career. And then now almost like backtracking because there's confusion or your emotions may be creating certain illusions that may not be real. This confusion could also be in the sense of love where you're dealing with somebody who gives you a whole bunch of mixed signals. And it's like, well, what the heck? Am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to like what signs are you putting out there? And this may be causing you guys to also be thrown for a loop. Um, the seven of cups energy could also be that some of you guys are dating and you have a couple of options, but you don't know which option is the best one. So with this card, the overall energy during this time frame is either like emotional confusion or trying to find a sense of direction in a certain area in your life. And like I said, being in this energy of needing to sort out what opportunities are real and what opportunities are just illusions in a sense. But and also somebody may be giving you just a whole bunch of mixed signals during this time frame. And you guys may go through a range of emotions. But when it comes to your current energy, we do have the death card. So this is you being in the energy of transformation. This may be transformation that's sparked by you wanting things to be different and sick and tired of things being stagnant or you feeling stuck. Or this could be changes that are happening that are not necessarily your doing. This may be spirit. This may be the universe creating change in your life that may be unwanted in a sense or extreme in a sense but with the death card this is changes that are happening to make way for new energy so regardless of how you guys may be viewing these changes this is making way for new opportunities for new doors to be open or for you to even realize that certain doors are even there for you now this could also be the energy of a lot of endings taking place in terms of like relationships and all the other stuff but 
the challenge i do have the strength card so this could be a leo specifically um if not a leo this could be possibly the challenge of you guys for one staying determined the chat there may be a challenge in regards to you guys staying motivated staying confident you may have some moments where you do kind of second guess yourself or you feel like you're not good enough or you feel like you're not pushing yourself hard enough. And this may be you just being hard on yourself. Um, but this may be a challenge for you guys to stay 100 percent confident. And. For some of you, it's not even a situation where confidence may be the issue. It may be more of like defensiveness that may be the challenge during this time frame as well. Or somebody like acting on their wild impulses. So this is like somebody cussing another person out because they're like upset or projecting. Or like I said, somebody acting on impulse. So also make sure you guys aren't acting on impulse during this time frame. Now the advice from your spirit guides, I do have the eight of cups. Um, so the advice here is to, of course, walk away from anything that you don't feel emotionally is sitting well with you anymore or where you don't feel like you resonate anymore or where you just feel like emotionally there's nothing left for you. It's OK for you to walk away. It's better to walk away regardless of if it's a relationship or a job or what have you. It's better to walk away knowing that you've put your effort and energy into it. And it just isn't for you anymore versus you staying in a bad situation just out of the mere fact of being scared of change or seeing what's out there. But yeah, and some of you also discuss what your what you're displeased or not even displeased, what you're not happy with, with your person before it gets to a point to where you guys end up, you know, getting a divorce or splitting up. There's a conversation that needs to be had. Now, when it comes to what I see for the thing that you need to watch out for, we do have the three of cups. So um, what may just come out of the blue is somebody trying to get back in your good graces. This could be like an old friend who you haven't spoken to in a while, or this could even be somebody who you had a more casual relationship with. It wasn't like committed. This person may try to make their presence known. Again, for others of you with this three of cups, there may be something with friends that may come up. Or like your close circle. And also this is celebration energy. Some of you guys may get invited to like some sort of celebration or something. But when it comes to what I see for the outcome, we do have the Ten of Swords. And with the Ten of Swords, this is, hmm. Okay, so for some of you, you may be closer to the end of this time frame trying to recover from some, like I said, betrayal, abrupt ending. This is you also, for some of you, trying to work on your mindset because whenever I see the Ten of Swords, this is, Again, we're still talking about the mind. The Ten of Swords could be a defeatist mindset or somebody who um, gets into like this cycle or even in this moment of being or expressing detrimental thoughts in a sense. So with this card, you guys may have moments where your anxiety or even your experiences up until this point may be, may be making you think that you're, you know, not good enough or just projecting bad thoughts. Um, this is something you guys are going to have to look at during this time frame. And with the Ten of Swords, like I said, you guys may be ending things with a, a person who keeps betraying you or being manipulative. Hmm. This this looks interesting. Now, the last part I want to discuss is going to be this one. And it says nostalgia, focus on the here and now. And with this card, there's a need for you guys to make sure that you're not so caught up in the past, in the past energy, that you're not allowing yourself to experience, like this card says, the here and now. Um, when you're always recollecting bad things that have happened to you, it's almost as if you're only resonating or vibrating on the negative, <laughs> like 
if you just constantly every day you wake up and you keep telling the same story of struggle, strife, um, this or that, instead of trying to find a solution, then you're doing yourself a bigger disservice. So make sure you're not emotionally living in the past and expecting your now to look better than the past when you're not even paying attention to the here and now. So this is what I see. I hope that you did enjoy and that you took whatever messages you may have needed from this video. If you did, thumbs the video up and subscribe. Definitely check out the description if you want a personal and I will see you in the next one. Bye, Sages.